Hello everyone, welcome back to my European Space Agency RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video we begin by completing the Early Inner Planets Probe program. And so we'll just do that. But that leaves us with a question mark as to where we go from here. Mars surface exploration is a possibility. Um, we've gotten into orbit around Mars. Parachuting down isn't the most complicated thing. But there's the Mars rover part, which is more complicated. Uh, Venus surface exploration is, uh, well, I mean, I don't know how they're modeling the pressure, if they are or not. I would assume it's got to be difficult in some way that the Mars one isn't, because they aren't including a rover contract. So, yeah, I've got some question marks as to how Venus is right now. Uh... Small bodies, well, we're sort of trying for a series in Vesta. Mercury, we only need a flyby for, but it's generally hard to get to Mercury. Uh, but it's a thought, and it's only two slots. But um, now we're already planning a Jupiter flyby, but we don't really have the power for it. I'm expecting our probe that's uh, already being built for it to basically die out uh, on the way, and we'll find out exactly how bad it is. So, the Delta V to Mercury is not too different from that to Jupiter, if we're going direct. So we could repurpose one of the Jupiter probes for it. So potentially we could do all the small bodies ones. Maybe we'll just go for that then. Assuming there's no quirky requirements on these flybys. But then we'll be spending our confidence. Eh, let's try that. We're sort of already planning to do these things. Okay, and then when we finish the crewed orbit one with the EVA, we'll be able to get the crewed landing. We can't get it now anyway. So next thing we have to pay attention to is the other Mars probe arriving. Okay, well, it is still alive and well. It is pretty far out from Mars, though. Okay, it's not going to go exactly like this, but we are going to do a 161 meter per second burn and then a 2,231 meter per second capture burn. And we do have enough for that. And we'll hope that we can hit Deimos. Yeah, it looks like the low over Mars science starts at around 2,000 kilometers. So it's fairly low woo, compared to Earth. So with the orbits that we've been getting into, it doesn't give us much time to do that compared to the high over, which we're already done with. Oh, well, that's pretty darn close, isn't it? Hmm. Up, mm. up, oh, up. Oh, oh. He burned directly into it. Well, we better start now. Uh, yeah, we can burn directly into a uh, encounter with Deimos. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're in luck. We might be a little bit off time, though. But, of course, correction should handle that. Okay, we've captured. Okay, so that's the situation. Now, can we do something about that? There we go. Just out of curiosity, I wanted to know what it would take to get into orbit, because we're certainly not going to get much science out of it going through too fast. Um, 775. I mean, just a little bit more, we would be we would have been able to do it, but uh, no such luck this time. Within the realm of possibility. Okay, mid course correction burn. We have our fly through, but again, science wise, it's not so brilliant. After that, maybe we can get into a lower orbit around Mars.
And we'll try to do that with the others as well to try and get the low over signs a little bit better. But first, we will try to fly by Deimos. Even though nobody's expecting us to or requiring us to or giving anything to us for it. Okay, we're in the minute or so that we're passing by Deimos. So, here we go. Potato Roid 2. <laughs> Potato Moon 2. I think they're looking better than they used to. Okay, so yeah, and then we'll bring our orbit down. Hey, ignition. Well, we'll save the rest for orientation. Okay, and shutting down. It's that one. We're practically in the same orbit as this one. Which makes sense because it was the same opportunity and they were coming in very close to each other, so. Well, this one only has 93 meters per second. We'll just leave it be. It's as low as it's going to get. And how about this one that's pretty high up? This one's got a lot of fuel. So let's let's try and bring it down. Ah, that, that'll be good. That seems to be even below. I mean, that would keep it entirely in the low over territory, so that's good. I'll get rid of that. That was just for reference, but... I wanted to bring the periapsis down. That will help. Also nice that it is fairly inclined. Okay, ignition. Okay, I'm hoping that that keeps us entirely within the low over science territory. But let's check that. By the way, in all cases, we still have the tech level 2 UHF antennas in here. I don't know if the that helps. I mean, uh, let's say we had a UHF probe and they could talk to this UHF antenna. Could that then the could the S band then relay them? I'm not sure because uh, I haven't tested that. Okay, spinning. Yep, it's running them all the time now. Okay, that's all good. Uh, though, um, well, this is a nighttime slide, obviously. It's not going to have power. It survives just fine until the daylight, though. We can shut down the avionics, and it's okay. All right, let's go on to other things. Well, there's that apparent Mercury window coming up. And why don't we just change this Jewel 1 to a Moho 1 and send it over to Mercury. Now we need to reduce the solar panels because we, we really don't need uh, Jupiter level solar panels when we're going in system. So yeah, we don't need these huge things with uh, each 600 watts. Okay, so at most we would be using 190 watts, and we'll just scale it for Earth. By the time we get to Mercury, they'll degrade a bit, but they'll be getting more power, so that's what we're counting on. I trust they do do... Uh, tracking enabled. Let's do tracking enabled, yes. It's important. Why even disable it to begin with? I don't know. Okay. Well, that leaves this probe a little bit less heavy so we might as well make it bigger okay that is still tooled we have extra delta v that's a tight fit for the fairing i don't mind making a new one let's just have a new one fine as far as the crude stuff is concerned we're waiting for them to get trained up anyway. Uh, May 13th is the earliest, and that's just the proficiency, then we have to train them for the mission. 
Uh, so the rocket will be ready, you know, in 11 days, but uh, we, we won't have any crew for it yet. Gosh, I want to do space stations. <laughs> um, uh, maybe we should unlock... I wonder what the functionality of the mobile processing lab is. I forget how that works in Kerbalism, to be honest. Oh, I thought I'd try to unlock the lunar power. Oh, I probably wanted to, but I didn't have enough science. Okay, well, we definitely want the lunar rated power generation. We'll do that. Okay. To the Mercury window. Says we need 6,620 for ejection. We'll see. Okay, we should probably start rolling it out. Okay, trying for Mercury, I guess. First time we're launching the three core version of this, which the pad was sized around. Though we didn't have the heavier upper stages when I decided to make the pad limit 460 tons. So we had to make these a little bit smaller. We're a little bit early. Mercury doesn't like people being early. Okay, we'll go now. SAS on, throttle up, and ignition. We've lost one, I'm taking it. Ooh, that's rough. I've got to shut off one on this side. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Not ideal. Not ideal. Much rather have one go out on the core than the boosters. I did make an extended core, but apparently not too much longer now that we've only got three on each of the boosters. Oh well. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, that was spinnier than I expected. Okay, lots of things happened. Okay, well one of the Separatrons decided to fail, but it's okay. SRBs, you can't trust them, I tell you. They lull you into a false sense of security. Okay, and staging. We got two engines this time. Good. All engines running. Our solar panels are tracking the sun for the first time ever. Okay, that's good enough for me. Uh, 324 by 244. And we've got 7,880 meters per second in order to make the transfer, so that's plenty. I mean, we can't capture around Mercury anyway. That's not going to happen. But uh, it's plenty for doing a flyby. Okay, ASAP. 82 day duration. Oh, that periapsis is good. 82 days makes me happy, and that's well within our budget. So let's try to do that. In fact, I think it's better than advertised. Yeah, that's at 6,620. Okay, and go. Gotta love these fancy relighting engines. Oh, I must have reactivated the RCS there. All right, staging. You guys are already active, right? While accuracy of the burn might be an issue, we have plenty of Delta V to spare in order to do a correction. And final stage. Oh no, I forgot to pick up the contract. <laughs> I forgot to pick up the contract! No. Gosh darn it, doing it just for the science. <laughs> well, fine, we're doing it just for the science. Well, do we have the other one? The other one's almost ready. We could get that one out. We'll just repurpose it as well. They'll have extra solar panels though, and less delta-v. 
Maybe we can resize it without taking too long. Well, that's hitting Mars. Ah, oh, sorry, Mercury. Gosh. All over the place today. That's hitting Mercury. Would like a shot at the low over Mercury science. Okay. And how long is that pass? It's about four hours. It's not great, but it's what we're gonna get. So it's not it's probably not bad to have two probes. Most of these will be done quickly enough though. Okay, ignition. Okay. That looks pretty good. Of course, we'll check for which side has better comms once we get there. Uh, I don't think we need a mid-course correction or anything. And hopefully the tracking solar panels will do their trick, but right now they're facing the sun perfectly, so I'm not going to spin up or anything. We'll just leave them as is. And we've got 1,370 meters per second. So... Yeah, that's the wrong SOI change. Let me put a dummy maneuver inside Mercury SOI, and then we'll pay attention there. Okay. All right, so this is on its way. Let's actually pick up the contract. Mercury flyby. All right. And this one's practically done. I'll just finish it first and then edit it. Okay. Let's rename it officially. Moho2. It's supposed to be uh, Deneb H Heavy or something like that. The H was supposed to be for Hydrolocks. But anyway. Okay. Hopefully this is not going to take too long. All I want to do is resize the solar panels. Eighteen hours. I think that'll be good enough. I mean, that's probably still too big, but gives us plenty. Should I put different science on here? Just activate that right away. Let's see. We'll certainly get the barometer and thermometer data, so anything else that's reasonably quick? Four hours. Basic TV camera. We've got the early one, but we didn't have the basic one, so let's put that in. Yeah, we'll go for infrared radiometer, even though we definitely won't complete it. Okay. That'll be good. Okay, 15 hours. Sounds great. Okay, roll out. Oh no, reconditioning. No, that's a whole week. That's tough. Okay, rush, just for this time. Um, and let's get as much staff as we can to it. Even though we only have 26,000, it's got to cost us like a thousand a day. Okay, roll out. Okay, turning off rush. I don't want to... In fact, I'm going to move the staff off the pad right now. Okay. And we have the contract this time. Let us launch. Okay, SAS on, Oops. SAS on, throttle is up, and ignition. And launch. Well, we have all of them for now. Much more vigorous, isn't it? Going through max Q. Everything looking fine so far. Okay, booster set. What's with the spinny thing? I must have placed them wrong a little bit. It's not a problem problem, but... Okay, separation and ignition. And fairings. And 
and staging. We will have oodles and oodles of Delta V. Oh no! I forgot to activate tracking on these. It's always something. These are not tracking right now. Well, not the biggest problem. We know what to do with non-tracking solar panels. Okay. Uh, a bit more lopsided than I wanted, but it's fine. We have 8,449 to transfer. Oh, this time it's 6,633. Still fine, though. Okay, ignition. Oh no, we've lost an engine. Okay, um, you know what? Uh, because of timing reasons, I'm going to actually replot and we'll go around. Hopefully we won't lose the other one because of this, but we'll see. Okay, there we go. Okay, ignition. Alright, one engine it is. Oh gosh, it's not holding it with one engine. Oh, uh, bye. Okay, maybe Smart ASS, try and hold it. <laughs> try and hold it, please. Thank you. It was just not being active. Yeah, it's fine. Um, as far as the burn time is concerned, I mean, they've got nearly eight minutes, and it looks like, well, the total run time is gonna go over. But. Actually, if it fails just because of the burn time, we can probably make that up with the Delta V that we have in the upper stages. Okay, we are on escape. It managed to full time. Okay, go. Okay, I don't know why you're not holding node now. Um... Okay, okay, well, obviously this is not good. Um, are these that imbalanced? I mean, geez. Don't make me spin stabilize you. Apparently they're that imbalanced. Okay, great. I can't check them right now. But let me just spin. What can I do? We could turn some off, but I don't know which ones are the problem. We've used this sort of thing before, but... Okay, go. Alright, now... Well, let me just get all of you up. Yeah, it is 3.5 only. We've got a randomly overperforming one, this one. They do like their random number generators, don't they? Yeah, it's just this one that's the problem, but we'd have to turn off the symmetrical one. Okay, well, it looks like we need to. Okay. Go away, the rest of you. That's you? Okay. You, shut down. You, shut down. Go. Honestly. Now it's okay. These are all producing 3.5-ish to 3.6. That's no problem. A thrust variance of 2.5% to 5% is a lot. And final stage. Obviously, things have been rather different than expected. Okay, well, I'm just going to plot a little correction. That seems good to me, about 300 meters per second. We'll do that. And... Ignition. Okay. Let's see... Uh, well, that's probably okay, yeah. Right, and we'll add another 
maneuver right in there. Add that to the alarms. So they'll be arriving pretty close to each other. And let's point at the sun. Because this one doesn't have the tracking solar panels. Okay, it is spinning. We've got our alarm. And I will leave it there. So we have two missions bound for Mercury. One of them can actually fulfill the contract. And we will see how they work. And then there's also Ceres and Vesta, and we'll have other ones ready for those. And then maybe we can do Jupiter, but that's a stretch as far as power is concerned. So we will see. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.